Hello again and welcome to our discussion on luminosity masking. Luminosity masking is a way for us to make a selection of the brightest areas of an image. It is really relatively complicated to try to explain but far easier just to show you what's going on. So pay attention to these steps and then we'll take a look at the mask we wind up creating and then you'll get a real good idea as to what's going on and how you can use it in landscape photography. We're going to start off by clicking on this channels tab right here and then coming down here to this left icon if you hover over it load channel as selection make sure the RGB channel is selected these four are actually selected and go ahead and click on that notice we have marching ants the marching ants here have selected everything from a middle tone to the brightest tones it is not selecting from middle tones to darker tones from there we come over here to the right and save selection as a channel click on that button notice we have this alpha channel pop up here's where it gets a tad tricky but not really at this point in time we're going to hold three keys down on the keyboard the control shift and alt key down on the keyboard I'm holding those down with my fingers and now I'm going to simply click on the alpha channel notice that as we click on the alpha channel the marching ants pattern on the image actually change changes we're, we're moving away from selecting from midtones to all the brights and moving away from the midtones now we're selecting some some little bit lighter lights all the way to the brights and every time we click this is our third click now we're moving that selection further and further towards the highest uh, brightest tonalities clicking again that's four I believe we'll take this down oh to six clicks we've clicked on it six times moving our way oh we'll do it two more times we're moving now we've, we've selected just kind of the brightest sections of the entire image now we'll go ahead and let go with our fingers we can actually throw the alpha channel away now so we can click on it select it throw it in the trash can we want to do this because it does take up uh, quite a bit of memory all right, we'll go back and click on the Layers tab. And now, any adjustment layer we pull up will have this amazing luminosity mask on it that there's no way we can conceivably create it in any other fashion. So let's go ahead and click on what we might want to do here is actually pull the tonality down so the curves adjustment layer would be a really good choice. At this point in time, let me show you what this mask is looking like. So I'm going to hold the Alt key down and click on the mat Layer Mask thumbnail. And we'll just zoom into an area and look at that it's made the selection of the brightest areas but it also feathers back into some of the less bright areas really cool now how might we use this let's all to click on that layer mask thumbnail one more time get this to fit back on the screen at this point in time we have this curves adjustment layer up we can simply click anywhere on this curve and just tug it down a little bit usually don't want to flat line it like we've just done here at the bottom we just want to get a nice kind of a curve on it about like oh, about like this now we can toggle the eyeball on and off to see the effect and watch in particular through this area here real nice way to bring that slightly too bright of sky down into range notice we're having an effect in an area we don't particularly want an effect to happen and what can we do about that real simple let's leave that eyeball toggled on let's call up our brush tool B for brush tool have the foreground selected as black let's change this opacity back up to 100 percent we can size our brush actually I want to be really careful here not to go into the sky so we're going to go with a relatively hard brush click there to get rid of the box let's just use our scroll wheel to zoom in and let's look at our mask hold the alt key down click on the layer masks thumbnail and now we can paint black on these areas that we don't want to be toned down we like that nice crisp looking white down here in the in the snow we just want to bring that sky area down just a little bit so we come through here 
Now, if we were doing this for real, we might spend a little bit of extra time, zoom in really close like this on a mountaintop, get a really small brush, and be careful. Again, with this harder brush, we can work near the edge pretty nicely and not go over. So we might want to spend maybe 10 minutes or so just going through nice and easy along the skyline here. Obviously, this is going to only be done on an image that we think is worth it. All right, let's pretend we've gone through and taken 10 minutes to paint black everywhere everywhere in the mask where we don't want this effect to, to, to come through. All right, let's see here. Now we can Alt-click on the thumb, layer mask thumbnail again. I'm going to press the Z key on the keyboard, fit in screen, and now we can toggle this on and off. And we're only pulling down the bright areas of the sky. So that is a luminosity mask. Real cool feature to use. You could use it to tone it down. You could make a selection of that area, change the color. Once you make that mask, you can make any adjustment to it. So that is luminosity masking. Real simple way to call it up. Real simple way to, to size it from medium tones to highlights to just the brightest tones. The more you click, the further up the scale towards the highest highlights you go. All right, we'll see you next time.